This week we're looking at the 12 cane strikes from the Cane Masters International System and we'll be showing you the various ways we can do it whether you're able bodied, need two sticks or a wheelchair user. And it'll give you the idea and principles of how you can adapt to suit each individual learner. So we'll see you after this. The thing we'll be looking at is the 12 point strike from Grandmaster Mark. So first the national system uh, for an able-bodied person, doing the 12 point strike, showing the body position, feet work, and how they incorporate. And then we'll be looking at how we can adapt it to suit each individual learner. So what I'm looking at now is the 12 point strike. So literally from low to high, I'm gonna go right to left. So what I'm doing is I'm using my leg, my hip, my shoulder, my arm to come across. I've always got my guard hand in position. I'm then gonna reverse that so I can go left to right. Again, I'm using my legs, my hips, my shoulder, then my arm. Reverse again from middle, across again. My whole body's getting involved. Left to right as well always a guard hand. So each time, it's not just my arm, it's my leg, my hip, shoulder, arm, finally my wrist, and this is where I'm generating the power. I'm then going to come across from the collarbone towards the hip, and then I'm going to reverse that from hip to collarbone. Opposite collarbone, again, using my whole body to hip, I'm then going to go for the groin, roll it down, and go for the head. In each case, my, all of my body is moving. My guard hand's in position. If we're getting to the pad drill, same again, I'm going to go from right to left, it's going to be low, so I'm going to cross, and again, I'm coming across the other way. Middle, same again, whole body, cane coming through, coming through. Again, head, cross, cross. Then I'm going for the collarbone, so it's going down, then going through the hip, roll the cane over to the opposite collarbone, Opposite hip, and then going to go for the groin, and then go for the head. Something people don't talk about, there's three ways to hit the pad. You can either hit and retract quickly, hit and stay, or you can hit and go all the way through. Okay. All we're going to do now is just a quick power drill, so it's going to go from the left side to the right side using as much power as I can muster. Uh, with my cane and through the pad. So it'd be from here, so again, wherever I am from a guard position, I might be in a ready position, whatever position I adopt, so the cane's gonna come through, and it's gonna come to the other side. So I'm using my whole body each time to generate power to come through. Important things to note is, always have your spare hand as your guard hand. Um, quite often you'll see people, the arm will drop or be in the wrong position. I use, I'm utilising all of my body for the strike, so I'm using my legs, my hips, my shoulders, as well as my arm, and the final wrist motion to get the powers in the strikes. Uh, remember, if you, somebody's holding a pad for you, best not to do it at full power straight away. <laughs> Need a bit of uh, confidence in your partners when you're doing this, but it's a drill we've worked out, and we've got the sequence, so it works well for us. But however you choose to do it, always be considerate of your partner. Now I'm going to look at the same drill, but for myself, uh, I use two canes to actually walk, so at all times one cane must be on the floor to give me what I call the tripod. As you can see, the difference between the way that I do the cane strikes and how Chris has done it, my body position is static and I'm using my arms and my core to actually produce the power. Each individual will be different, depending on their range of movement, uh, their stability on their legs. So again, adapt it to the individual and what they can do rather than trying to get the individual to do what is shown for able-bodied.
looking at the same drill but from a person using a wheelchair. Bear in mind, people who use a wheelchair not necessarily don't have the use of their legs, it's just maybe something that they need to do. I know, during the winter, Kev needs a wheelchair due to the weather. What you're going to be looking at is the restrictions and how to adapt. I always recommend that you actually get in a chair yourself to actually experience it so you can understand the problems that can come through. With this drill, it differs from the two cane drill that I do. Uh, my range of motion and the restrictions of the chair will alter my hand position, my body position and the areas from which I'm striking. So let's look at the 12 strike drill now in a chair. Hi guys, this is the wheelchair cane drill. We come in, guard position, we're going for the ankle. We can come over the head for the ankle. As you can see, my shots are actually in about mid five, full blade of 32, because I cannot come any further down with my knees. The middle shots again, elbow, rib cage. And with the head shot, instead of bringing my arm all the way up to do it parallel like the angle body, I'm just angling the tip up and around. For the collarbone, it's just a roll over, down. I can cross the body and come up to the thigh. I can roll again to the other collarbone, but this is where the problem arises. As I bring the cane back, I just let it roll in my hand. I've now got the, the crook out, and it's just a flick in from there, which then brings me to the groin flick, and then just a roll over for the head strike. And the reason I've reversed the cane is that this angle here is very hard across the body and you're restricted. There's no power. With this, you're just basically crossing your arms and the power comes from there. As you can see, we've taken the 12 strike drill and we've adapted it for able bodied, two canes, and a wheelchair user. Bearing in mind that each person will be an individual, whether they have a disability or not, you need to adapt to suit each individual person and discover the principle behind the technique so they can adapt it to suit their way of um, utilizing a cane. Guys, thanks for watching, thanks for getting involved. Leave your comments down below, subscribe, like us, tell your friends. If there's anything you've seen today that you disagree with or agree with, um, just put them in the comments. Um, let's make this community grow, let's all get stronger together and let's take this message out into the community and let's enhance people's lives. Okay. Anything you want to see, drop us a line, let us know. Show us your videos, See what, let us know what you've got up to and then we can put it up and get more people involved in your area as well. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next week.